that is it full time West Bromwich Albion nil Southampton nil a really exciting game honestly the scoreline makes it sound like it was a dull game this was end to end there was chances for both sides some controversial decisions but lots went on but before we do that please do smash the like button and do subscribe and I'm going to preface this video with the fact that I am a West Bromwich Albion fan so there may be a little hint of bias but I will try and give you my honest thoughts going to this game we all kind of and what I'd spoke about in a previous video is I expected Southampton to try and play this passing out from the back, this expansive football, this slow build-up and uh, drawing teams in and then finding the spaces and the gaps and then allowing players like Adam Armstrong to cut in and break those lines and find those spaces with a rebo and small burn and downs. And they kind of went for that. It's the style of play that they went for. West Brom, one of the best out of possession sides in the league. Really like this uh, kind of style of play when they're playing against like, teams like this. They counter press and they press up high every now and then, kind of in different phases and use different triggers. And Jack Stevens, by the looks of things today, was the trigger. And West Brom had some big chances, if I'm honest. Um, I, I do think they probably should have won this game off the back of some of the chances. But then again, having said that, Southampton had some big chances as well themselves. They had a big chance at the end when Stewart had a shot and it was deflected. Uh, off Carl Bartley and a brilliant save from Palmer as he's dived the wrong way and then flicked it off with his boot the other way. It was a great save. But overall, I'm a little bit disappointed. I feel like West Brom should have won that game. They had some huge chances. A big penalty shot as well. I'm going to kind of discuss that as well. I personally, look, I've only seen it twice and I'll need to see it back again at another angle. But it looked like a, it's a foul for definite. And then it's the question of it, is it in the penalty area? It looked it to me. I personally think it should have been a penalty, but I do need to watch it back, and I'm going to be honest and say I've only seen it twice. Sky didn't really show it because it was a bit end-to-end -end at the time, and there's quite a few chances. Um, but I do think it was a good game of football. It's intriguing for both sides. I think it's going to make the second leg extremely, extremely interesting, just purely down to the fact that we're going to have to see West Brom play that similar style again, but probably need to be a little bit more brave with that press because at times when they were brave, even towards the end with them Vila pressing, we won the ball back quite often and got ourselves into some really good situations. The problem was we win the ball back and then we just didn't have that end product, that, that final moment to get that goal when we probably should have. There were some big chances, I think, of Connor Townsend. Uh, Yukoshlu had a chance. Um, Dean Garner had a chance. So we'll talk about Dean Garner. I thought Dean Garner was really actually quite good today. Um, he should, probably should have scored two goals today. Now, I know Troy Deeney at half time gave um, some analysis and gave his thoughts on one of the big chances, and it was a header. Um, and it was at a near post, and the keeper saved it. Personally, it was straight at the keeper, so I, I, I thought he should have saved it. I thought he should have scored, sorry. I thought he should have hit one of the corners, but yeah, it, 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 it just didn't it just didn't come off. It was a great save from the keeper. He's a winger, so I can't kind of look at it like that, but personally, I think you should be scoring when you get a header, uh, winning a header from about four yards out. Um, and then the other chance right at the end when uh, we pressed and won the ball back. Fellows, lovely whip ball across and he shot it straight at the keeper. I thought Fellows was really good in this game. Probably my man of the match. Kind of created so many chances and gave uh, Manning on that left-hand side a really difficult game. I thought Carl Walker-Peters was really, really good today. Especially in that first half. He kind of died off a little bit in that second half. But that first half he was causing Connor Townsend and um, Mikey Johnston some problems down that left hand, uh, down that right hand side he was bombing on constantly he was really good I thought Downs was really good until his yellow card he was kind of really getting on the ball but you kind of see that a lot of the time with centre midfielders that can't really get on the ball and kind of do as much as they were doing before because they are a little bit worried it was a bit of a rash challenge nothing more than a yellow though um, a, a difficult one but overall it's kind of what we expected from this game going into it I said it before the game we were expecting Southampton to try and play this football and as I said the thing is with this it's high risk high reward football kind of you're playing out from the back you're always going to run the risk of being pressed and losing the ball in difficult situations and there were times where you were thinking what the hell are you doing and I can imagine I was watching it with uh, my uncle who is a Southampton fan and there was times where he was screaming at the TV going what the hell is going on here the way they were passing out from the back they were just thinking they were just playing and it looked horrendous some of the times some of the times where the Bednarek was tripping on the ball inside his own six yard box you are thinking just just knock it long you're playing out playing out safe but that is the Russell Martin way it's created some problems throughout the season. It's meant they've conceded quite a few goals this year. I think back to the Bazunu times earlier on in the season. I think to a game against Norwich and games like that where they were losing so many goals. Uh, correct, losing so so yeah, they were losing the ball so many times, and it's creating chances for goals for opposition. But overall, I thought they were okay today. It was just an intriguing game. I think West Brom will probably be. They'll probably be be a bit more disappointed than Southampton. I think Southampton will be going home after that performance happier of the two sides because they've got a clean sheet and now they're coming back to St Mary's with a clean sheet and the, the, I think it's shifted slightly towards in their way now if I'm honest originally it was obviously 50-50 but now I think it's gone slightly their way because they've got the home second leg and not only that they kind of didn't really seem to get going but that kind of just shows you that they've got that next gear that next weight level to step up to but overall it was a really interesting game we said it before the two different styles of play was always going to be interesting because 
it's the two opposites so it kind of it will play into each other's hands and you saw that it kind of there was a lot of clashing it was differing styles and they just cancelled each other out but overall a really good game let me know your thoughts on the penalty i personally think that west brom deserved the penalty right at the end for that foul from ryan fraser on dean garner but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below let me know what you think of the game and let me know your prediction for the second leg because it kind of the, the, the tie went exactly how I predicted but I did say I thought West Brom would have scored from one of those chances and I think that may be their Achilles heel and it has been all season we've seen with Tom Sassanti uh, we've seen it with um, Dean Garner throughout the season not 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 taking those big chances and that's the problem with Asante a lot of people do get on his back but at the end of the day he was a League 2 striker from Salford you know exactly what you're going to get from him he's not the most clinical and that's the big thing for me and he Probably should have got a goal today. But that's just me personally. I think, as I said, West Brom will be the most disappointed out of the two. But still, a very good game. And I'm excited for the second leg. But as I said, please do smash the like button. Please do subscribe. And I will see you guys for more daily uploads tomorrow. But yes, Bucket Asami, everyone out. Thank you. Goodbye.